The Wisconsin Manufacturers and Commerce says it's created a plan that could get portions of the local economy open as early as the first week of May. Adam Dexter joins us now with the efforts the group is making to get the plan into action. Adam? Yeah, Charlotte, the WMC says this plan is a balance between reopening the economy and prioritizing public health. Now they say they're trying to get the governor on board too. In Janesville, local businesses impacted by the Safer at Home order are entering the fourth week of being partially open or entirely closed. They're really stressed and it is, I'm sure, keeping them up at night trying to think of how are we going to come back? John Becker to Ford Janesville says with each passing week, the concept of reopening becomes more difficult. Businesses that are not just struggling, but on the verge of collapse. Now the WMC is proposing its own plan, which they say uses data like where a business is located, how many cases of coronavirus are in that county, and the healthcare capacity of the county to determine when to open and in what form. We want people to go back to work. We need to go back to work, but we need to do it responsibly. And we need to be able to manage the risk that's, that happens when, when people leave their homes and, and re-engage in, in our economy. Leaders from the WMC say this differs from today's protest in the way that it puts public health first. Now they're trying to introduce the plan as a bill and get it approved as law. Beckard says he likes the specificity the plan provides. And while it does involve risk, they say. We think that that risk is manageable. Governor Evers and his team responded to the plan today, saying while they appreciate the effort behind it, it doesn't include things that are included in the Badger bounce back plan, like increase for COVID testing. They also say talking about the first week of May for reopening is ahead of the timeline that they like to see.